Hey, I am Joanne. I'm the founder of NoGuiltMom.com and today we are going to take you from really stressed out this summer or maybe really bored this summer to having a loose plan of what you're going to do every single day. So, okay. This is a video for kids, but parents, I want you to watch as well because I think that the best things happen when kids learn and they take responsibility over the skills and then parents, you are there to back them up. You are there to support and kind of answer questions where I can't be there to coach the kids along if you get my drift. Uh, Cause you know, it's a screen and we can't get through the screen. We all know this. <laughs> Let's create a loose plan for summer days. Now you might think, oh my gosh, Joanne, like why do I want to create a schedule for my summer? Like that just takes all the fun out of it and makes it work. It's what my daughter tells me. I know it well. Well, what we want to do is we just want a loose routine, a loose schedule. Everybody benefits from a loose schedule because it lets you know what you can expect and it helps you fill those pockets of time in between uh, better and you're more productive and you have more fun because you know what time you can take for fun. Okay, you ready to get started? The first thing we need to do is we need to just brain dump, brain dump all the things that we're thinking like in our heads that we either want to do this summer, we have to do this summer, like chores and responsibilities that really are not going away. And you know, things that would kind of be nice to do. So I made my brain dump list right over here and I listed things like, I want to learn German. There's this cool program called Duolingo where I do a German lesson a day. Um, I want to build no guilt mom. That's my company. You might have a big project idea or a big goal that you might want to do yourself. Maybe it's learning uh, more photography or maybe it's learning how to code or even creating a baking business. Anything you want, make sure that's down there as well. It's good to have really big goals. Uh, I want to work out and then things I have to do. I need to cook dinner. I need to fold laundry. I, I need to clean the bathrooms, unfortunately. And I really want to read. Now, I probably want to do a lot more of this, this than this this summer, but that's all that's on my list for now. Now, here comes the magic. We are going to prioritize. And it's something that I didn't learn until I was older. I thought like I just had a to-do list. I should work my way down. Nothing was more important than the others, but it is. Things are so much different in importance and whether like you really want to get them done or you want to make the time to get them done. So we're going to prioritize and here's how we're going to do it. Your brain dump list in front of you. And I hope you made one as well. You could just write it on the back of a piece of paper. I want you to put an A right now on those big big projects that you want to get done this summer. Those things that are fun, those things that mean a lot to you, but sometimes you just don't make the time to do them. My daughter really wants to improve her dancing, so she stretches every day. That's one of her big projects. For me, my big project is that I want to build No Guilt Mom, so that is my A. Um, and that's really my only A. Now I've done this a lot, so you might have more than I do in terms of A's. That is okay. Uh, next we're going to go on to our B tasks. B tasks are things that have to get done, but we don't really like to do them. Like they're just things that are our priorities, um, and they help us function better. So those would be chores. So for example, my B tasks are like cook dinner, fold laundry, clean bathrooms. Those are all my B tasks right there. So I want you to write down your B tasks as well. You got them? Okay. Now we go to our C tasks. C tasks are things that we would love to do, but eh, they're not that important to us. So like my C task would be reading. I mean, I, I like to do it. I do it every day. It's just not, not a big long-term goal. Uh, I'm already a reader. I already have that habit. And then working out. Uh, that is something that I fit in my day. Many people will tell you that you should prioritize your workouts. I, I don't feel the need to because it's something I do anyways. And then I have learned German. Well, learn German is one of those things that I, if I don't make it a priority, it's not going to get done. So I'm actually going to put that as an A test too. Now everything is dumped. It is brain dumped on that list. You're ready to move on to the second part. You ready? Pick one. A activity, just one, 
Now, I have two right here, learn German or build no guilt mom. So if I was to pick just one, I would definitely pick build no guilt mom. That is my priority. That is what I aim to do this summer and really what I do all the time. Uh, but you pick your number one priority, your big goal. Maybe it's creating a baking business, like I said before. Maybe it is uh, researching uh, moon landings online. Whatever it is, circle that one thing, one that you wanna work on this summer. Okay, you got that? Okay, here we go. Now on the back, I have a break daily schedule. <laughs> Now remember, this is loose. I wanna emphasize loose. This is not planning every hour of this day. No, that would be, take, that would definitely take the fun out of summer and I am not telling you to do that. Uh, but what I do wanna do is I do wanna pick a specific time each day that I focus on my A activity. So remember I said build no guilt mom. Uh, now I, I commit four hours a day to that. I commit eight, to noon every day on building No Guilt Mom. And so that is what I'm gonna write on here. I'm just gonna write, and I can use like all the lines. <laughs> build No Guilt Mom. Oh, I have an extra one, <laughs> just go like this. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> And you don't need to like, you don't need to take up four like I did. You could take up one hour. Just pick at least one hour that you write your A activity in, just one. Maybe it's like every day at 10, you stretch for dance. Or every day at three, that's when you're gonna learn coding for video games. Whatever it is, just write it in. And then I like to put a little box around it like this. It doesn't need to be pretty or neat. You just need to have it in there. <laughs> okay, we got that. We got the one A activity. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to see, okay, what B activities? I have cooking dinner, I have folding laundry, I have cleaning bathrooms. Uh, those can all be grouped together in like a chore, a chore hour. Uh, hopefully less than that because I, I don't like chores. So we're gonna just do a chore hour for our Bs. And my chore hour is usually right here at five o'clock. That's when I, I make dinner, I like start the dinner, and then I, I do anything else that needs to be done. So I put chores for five, right there. And that's it. And then my C tasks, remember those are tasks that I could fit in really any time. I don't need to schedule those in. All I wanna schedule in is I wanna schedule my priorities. I wanna make sure my A task gets done, and I wanna make sure my B task gets done every day. And now I have that kind of mental, mental schedule in my mind. I can hang this up in my room, but really like I don't do that. I, I use my schedule for my mental planning and then it just stays in there. You might be the same or you might be one who really likes to have that schedule posted and do that. And if you really love schedules, you should write in all the other stuff like lunch and you can write some C tasks in there too if you want. So building this is gonna take the boredom out of your summer and you just practiced a really important time management skill of prioritizing. So hey, if for that A goal, if you are really, really interested in pursuing it this summer and it's so big to you, you don't know where to start, hey, check out my course, Not So Bummer Summer 2.0, where I walk you through it just like this, just like we're doing here, about setting a big goal and then creating the steps to achieve it. It is so much fun and you are going to end your summer in a not so bummer way, even with all the craziness happening right now. So go grab this break daily schedule printout from noguiltmom.com. I put the link below this video. Your parents can go grab that. And until next time, I am Joanne and I will see you later. Bye.